Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So yesterday I got my merch. I bought one for myself. I don't know if you can see the, the logo there, the ads experience. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cool. And, and you're probably going to see me wearing this quite a lot in videos now because I really like it. Um, it's just so cool to wear your own merch i don't know i can't even describe how it feels it kind of just feels so right but yeah it just feels really really right um but yeah so with that being said we'll get on with the sales update i've got 10 sales to share with you maybe in approximately 10 minutes we've been running over the last few weeks so i'm not going to say exactly 10 minutes anymore but yeah probably maybe 10 15 minutes something like that um but without further ado we will get on with the first item which is this uh lincoln green vintage art deco uh plate side plates um and basically these um had some damage to them um, they had a little bit of wear and uh, you can probably see on this photo here uh that there's a chip to one of them um, there was also some wear where on the backs of the plates here you can see there's some marks and stuff um i think it was all, all uh, also like a little like a hairline crack to one of them i'm not too sure um but yeah i thought i saw like a little hairline crack a minute ago on the photos but yeah there was wear to them there was a couple of chips and stuff and you can see i got 9.95 plus my postage just for these um so you know people who say broken pottery doesn't sell or chip pottery doesn't sell well, there's your proof, you know, sometimes it does sell. I have sold the odd, the odd item with chips. Obviously, if it's a really desirable piece, if it's like a £100 item anyway, and it's got a little chip in it, you'll still be able to sell it for some money. We all kind of know that. But these aren't necessarily a really amazing item, and I still whacked them on. And uh, I still sold them for a tenner plus postage. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. I don't know how much I could have got for these without the chips, but probably not a lot more than I actually got with the chips. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much I paid for these. I'm guessing they will have been in an auction job lot. So, probably not a lot, like a quid or two, something like that. Um, but, yeah, 9 95 plus my postage. Really, really happy on that one. Uh, next is this vintage watercolour painting of a large ship docking by Margit1960. You may have seen this in one of my previous haul videos. I got two of these uh, paintings. Just, I think it was out of just a, like a random auction job lot. And yeah, they were in these like... Um, sort of card, um, I don't know, like little card covers, um, and yeah, I just randomly made up prices on these, you can see this one, I think it, I think the watercolours, or they've kind of maybe been, uh, sketched and then kind of filled in, in, in watercolour, um, but yeah, this is of like a, a ship, I don't know whether, I think it's probably coming into dock, um, but yeah, so 19.99 plus my postage on that one, really, really happy, um, I didn't know what to put this on it, it was a complete stab in the dark, um, I I think the other one might be on for 25 or something. I think I might have put that one on for a little bit higher. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I put that other one on for 19.99 as well. But it went fairly quickly, maybe in a couple of weeks, something like that. So I think I got the price fairly um, on point with that one. Maybe I could have gone an extra fiver, but... You know, give or take, I don't think it matters too much. I think I was pretty on point with that one. Um, so yeah, 1999 plus my postage there. Again, wouldn't have owed me hardly anything this. It would have just been an extra in a job lot, as I mentioned. So it's not going to be a huge cost or anything. Maybe a pound or two pound at maximum. Um, so yeah, pretty happy on that one. Next, we've got something that came in the board game job lot that I got from the auction. Um, I think I paid roughly, I've said this on previous sales updates, I think I paid roughly about two pound per board game. Um, and yeah, this was in one of the Sabutio. I decided to split it off. Um, and yeah, this was the cup. Now, please be do uh, please do be aware that this cup does you can sell this cup for fifteen pound. If you go on complete and sold, there are loads of these cups that have sold for like two ninety nine, three ninety nine on auction. Do not sell these cups for two ninety nine or three ninety nine on auction. If you wait a week or two weeks, that's all it takes—a week or two weeks—you will get a sale for fourteen ninety nine, provided that there's not a huge number of them on at that time, of course. Um, but I, I totally ignored the auction listings because I had sold this previously a couple of times 
for the 14.99 i whacked it on for that probably sold as i say within about a week or something like that um for the 14.99 so really really happy on that one fantastic profit obviously if um, I broke this down as an, as an individual cost. It would be literally pens because it's only a part out of one of the board games. So, uh, yeah, it would have been literally pens cost to me. $14.99. Really, really happy with that one. Obviously, it's just shoving a jiffy bag job. It's not anything hard to pack either. So, that, they're the kind of sales that I really do like. So, yeah, that was that one. Uh, next, we've got the uh, Vintage Brass Benjamin Disraeli Earl of Bacon Baconsfield. Back Beckons, Beaconsfield, uh, wall hanging face. Um, now, I didn't know who this was, so I basically did a little story on Instagram. Uh, obviously, there you go. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go on, go down below, check out my Insta. There's probably going to be um, my handle or a link to my Insta down below or something. Um, if not, I'll put a little graphic somewhere on the screen. If you don't follow me over there, I do uh, do a lot of stories over there. I'm very active over on Instagram. It's probably the social media platform I'm most active on, even including YouTube as well. I'm probably more active on Instagram in terms of a daily basis. So yeah, definitely go and follow me over there. But I put this on as a story and I said, does anyone know who this is? Because I hadn't a clue. And actually about two or three people came back to me and said uh, that it's Benjamin Disraeli. I was thinking it was like Charles Dickens or something like that because he has that look to him. Um, but no, no, it was Benjamin Disraeli. I watched it on 14.99, sold within again about a week, something like that. Maybe I could have got a few extra kit quid if I was willing to wait, you know, 17.99. 1999 but I'm more than happy just to get these things out and um, there was other ones on for around this price but as I say maybe I could have pushed it a little bit more um, but yeah 1499 plus my postage still very happy with that nice sale and hopefully whoever gets it will uh, like that. It's a pretty cool item. Bit of a different item as well. Um, I've not seen too many of those faces kind of thing in brass. Now, this was a very nice sale and I was so happy to get it. Uh, this is the Vintage Burleyware Hand Painted Art Deco Pan Design uh, Milk Jug and Sugar Pot. Absolutely beautiful item. A exactly Art Deco. Perfectly Art Deco. Um, just the design is... Something to behold, it's just so, it's lovely, it's completely of the period, uh, you know, that 20s, 30s period of Art Deco, uh, hand-painted, lovely, lovely design to it, but just really nice colours on it. You've got, round the rim, you've got this little bit, bit of black as well that I really do like, it really finishes it off really, really well, and you can see there's the little uh, sugar bowl as well. Uh, absolutely lovely. $29.99. This came in a job lot with a load of Carlton wearing that I got for £40, I think it was, plus commission. I had about 37 pieces of Carlton wear in there. I had this in there, and I had a few other bits and bobs of non Carlton wear pieces as well, like this one. Um, so, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Each piece probably only owes me one or two pounds, probably like one pound. 20 or one pound 30 or something if you work it out properly per per piece so really really happy you know fantastic profit again on that one um i waited maybe about a month for this sale maybe a little bit more maybe a month and a half um but still i was more than happy to wait uh, lovely item and i was so happy when we sold because i really did want to share it with you guys in a sales update uh yeah just exactly what i like this is the stuff that i absolutely love um art deco stuff it's just yeah brilliant absolutely brilliant so next was a very very old listing indeed from a military job that i got i picked up loads of different uh, military jackets these were more modern ones um you know more like the uh, army camo style the lightweight ones the what have you called the M mtps or something i'm not i'm not sure what i think they're mtps or something like that anyway or dtp i'm not sure something like that um and you know there were more modern ones i picked them up from a different auction house that i don't actually go anymore um for very very cheap and uh, i was way into profit on them like literally i sold like two of the jackets and I was in profit and I had like a full box of about 30 jackets or something to sell including this one so way into profit on this I accepted an offer of 16 pounds just to get it gone plus my postage it's this air engineering mechanic men's royal navy white jacket I the one thing in clothing well I say the one thing I actually do like selling a few bits of clothing but one of the things that I really don't mind selling in clothing and have uh, and have had quite good success with are military items, military jackets, military coats, 
things like that. I seem to be able to sell them quite readily when I get them. Um, but a lot of other clothing items, I really don't know where to start. I don't have any knowledge on them. Um, but yeah, the, it's always worth looking out for these things. If you can get them from auction houses in a big box job lot and you pay maybe one pound, two pound a, a jacket, then you can't really go wrong. You know, a lot of these jacket, well, not necessarily these ones, but the more camo ones, even if they're modern ones, you can easily get a tenner for them. So it's not actually that bad. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Next was something that um, wasn't the best item. I paid up for this. Or I paid, uh, you know, I paid five pound for this, expecting to maybe get 25 for it and maybe get 25 for it pretty quickly. Um, but I, I ended up getting 20 in the end or 19 pound 39 plus my postage. Um, but it did sit for quite a while. So I wouldn't really pay a fiver for that again. It was just in a charity shop, just taking a punt. The good thing was that it didn't take very long to pack because it's just, uh, you know, very, very small item. So what I did was I did actually put it in a jiffy bag because it is metal, but I put some slips of cardboard either side just to protect it a little bit more. But I didn't want to um, go through the hassle of putting it in a box or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so 19.39 on that one plus my postage. As I say, would have been better to maybe get it um, for maybe two or three quid instead of paying a fiver. But I was kind of hoping that it would go a little bit quicker than it did. But as I say, it did take quite a while to sell that one. Next, we've got these antique blue and white Malone, I think it is. Graduated water ewer jugs. Uh, ewer is always a good thing to put in your title, you know, a good keyword. Sometimes people search ewer instead of, you know, water jug or whatever. You might uh, search ewer, ewer jug or ewer uh, just, you know, singularly. Uh, and we, so we've got these ewer jugs, uh, W Adams and Co., and I just literally put these on for $24.99. I might have had them up at $29.99. I'm not sure. Maybe I've come down. Something makes me feel like I have had them up to $29.99, but I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but with these, like, uh, I think they're Victorian. I would have said the Victorian. Or if they're not Victorian, they're very, very early, um, you know, 20th century, so Edwardian period. Um, but I would imagine these are Victorian. Um, you can see, ah, that, I think, that, ah, that's why. That's why I've not put them on a little bit higher. I thought I would have maybe gone a little bit higher than $24.99 on these. But you can see there's, like, a hairline crack, on, or maybe even just bigger than a hairline crack there on on that largest jug um so yeah maybe i would have put them a bit higher maybe even i would have gone a little bit higher than 29.99 if that crack wasn't there but now i kind of get it um so yeah 24.99 plus my postage on those i mean things like you know these cracks on these items um you know these like victorian jugs and stuff people don't mind them as much like if you have like a, a hairline crack or a little crack like this or whatever well it is quite a big crack actually but if you have a crack like this on something like these items something that Victorian or even like a very very old ceramic people are kind of aware that that's going to happen because that you know they've been around for so long they've been around for 200 years or so or, or not far off it so uh, they're, they're a little bit more lenient customers w with these kind of things but if you've got something that's maybe art deco or even later than that and then we've got chips and cracks you know, that is really going to put a lot of people off. But it's not as bad with these types of things. Um, but yeah, these graduated jugs do do well. Um, there are certain, like, makers and stuff, if you research them, um, that can go for really good money. So it's always worth having a research of these, uh, obviously, these antique um, graduated jugs. Quite cool. I've got, I think I've got another couple of sets of these on at the moment from different makers. But yeah, something like this, I don't know what I will have paid at the auction house. Probably it would have owed me three, four, five quid, something like that in a job lot for, you know, all the free jugs there. Um, but yeah, so pretty happy with that one. I don't, I can't remember getting this because it was so long ago, but I'm guessing it will have just come in like a random box of stuff. I don't think I will, will have got these from, uh, you know, a job lot that had been on the table or whatever at the auction house or a job lot that will have been in the cabinet or anything. Um, but yeah, 24 99 plus my postage on those, so pretty happy with that. Next, we've got one of the board games from the board game lot I was just talking about. So I paid approximately two quid for these, there or thereabouts. Um, this was the Vintage Downfall game. This is the long box version. I think the long box version is the one that does better than the square box version of the same kind of uh, design, the same cover design. I think the long box version does better. I uh, got full asking price of this of $24.99 plus postage. It was all complete, all that sort of stuff. So that was really good. So yeah, $24.99 plus my postage. Really, really happy from that. Uh, from obviously about £2 there. So yeah. Really, really happy. Oh, we have got... I'm just going to finish off them, but we've got another one, actually. That was lucky. So next, we've got a piece of fat lava. 
Of course, I always say how slow these items are to go, um, and I continue to pick them up anyway because I can't leave them behind. But luckily, one did sell. I do end up get. I mean, these are genuinely really, really slow. I do probably only get like one sale a month of Fat Lava, maybe a little bit more, but probably only about one sale a month. So I really shouldn't be picking them up, to be honest, because they're just not very fast sellers. But I just can't help myself. Um, but yeah, so this one was actually quite a nice one. It was only a little one, you know, I mean, it's not like one of the really tall jugs or anything. We've got it's, it's a fair size at 27 centimeters, but it's not one of the really big ones or anything. Um, but it was a nice design on this, just an interesting little design, very, very simplistic. Uh, we've got this kind of grain into, in, into the design as well, which I actually really like. Um, and, it, and that lovely kind of top there, I don't even know what you call It's not, obviously, it's not uh, narrow enough to be called a bud vase or anything like that. But it's just, and I know there will be a specific name for that shape of vase, but um, it's just a really, really lovely shape at the top there. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Um, 19 on that one, plus my postage. So I got a decent price for that. That's a pretty decent price for that piece. Um, and yeah, I think I, I think I got it from a charity shop. I think, if I remember rightly, I paid three quid. It wasn't major, major ages ago or anything, but I think it was probably about six months ago. So it wasn't necessarily like it was years ago, but it, was, it still was a, a fair bit ago definitely last year anyway in 2018 sometime um, but obviously at the time of recording this video it's only March so by the time you guys watch this it'll probably be near in June or something with the way I'm scheduling videos out it's absolutely crazy um, so yeah do be aware when I say I got that last year even though you're watching this in June, I am referring to last year as only about three months ago, not six months ago. Um, but yeah, with that being said, with all that rambling done, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please do give it a big like down below. Don't forget to do that. Really does help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, if you haven't as well, do please check out the merch that I've got. It's awesome. Um, I am uh, really happy, really excited to be wearing this myself. Um, and yeah, check out any of the links in the description, the website. I have have like you know helpful information over there and stuff i have a few blog posts over there for beginners and i have a few different guides and stuff over there also uh, by the time you watch this i'm guessing my courses will be available on my website so i've got a lot of different video courses coming out and they will obviously be over there as well hopefully if i've uh, got that all sorted out by now um so yeah with that being said i'll leave it there and i will see you in the next one